Hello, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, Halftime TV viewers and subscribers. It's your boy Norando, and today we'll be doing a preview for the Reggae Boys versus Suriname. Yes, you heard it. Reggae Boys versus Suriname. I must say, before I even go into the preview, let me say shout out to the sponsors, Quickling Shipping, RS Sports Store, and CSA Shop, and to all our 5,000 plus subscribers. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being with us throughout this journey. Um, we've done track and field. We've done football. We've done a bit of basketball. We, we've tried to, to, to split it up a little bit just to ensure that everyone feels like they're a part of the family because that's what we're here for, for providing sports commentary. Raw, factual, honest, objective. This is where you can get it. And if you, if you like what you hear, if you like what you see, Click that subscribe button, ensure that you never miss a beat with Halftime TV. Before we go any further, shout out to the sponsors, Quickling Shipping, RS Sports Store, CSA Shop. These guys have been with us since day one. And if you need anything whatsoever shipped into the island, check out Quickling Shipping. For all your latest sporting clothing and apparel, check out RS Sports Store. We know it's the summer, a um, lot of different corner leagues and that sort of stuff happening on the island. Um, check out RS Sports Store, they can get you your jerseys best deal all right so the link for each of those located in the description below our sports store your sporting jerseys and apparel um quick link shipping anything you need shipped into the island so there you go folks you can check them out so on to to, to the meat of the matter we're doing the preview for the reggae boys versus suriname now this is the nation's league right and for for those who aren't fully caught up with the nation's league um the inaugural competition was staged last year the united states they won that one. They beat Mexico to secure the, the first Nations League that was held in the Caribbean or in this side of the world, in CONCACAF, all right? Um, now, this year, the Reggae Boys, we have the opportunity to stake a claim for ourselves. And um, Kevin De Bruyne, I won't even, uh, before I get to, to what I want to speak about, Kevin De Bruyne, he, he was asked about the Nations League a few, a few days ago and he indicated that it was just a set of glorified friendlies and he's not looking forward to it. Now, I think... Although I can agree with him, I think the Nations League is also an opportunity for, for countries with lesser talent um, to, to, to compete and to get their hands on, on, on silverware. It's an opportunity for them to get their hands on silverware. For example, the likes of Jamaica. Um, doesn't seem as if we're going to win the Gold Cup anytime soon. Doesn't seem as if we're going to get to the World Cup anytime soon. So, the Nations League, the perfect opportunity for us to try and get our hands on silverware. Because chances are, the top teams in CONCACAF, they won't feel their top, their top players. The likes of Mexico, the likes of the United States, more than likely they'll be looking forward to the World Cup, which is later on this year, instead of channeling all their focus on the Nations League, if you get what I'm saying. So, um, the Nations League, in the Reggae Boys group, we have um, Mexico and Suriname. So, there are only three teams in the group. Um, we're up against Suriname at the weekend. Now, for Suriname, I think... Not one of the toughest oppositions for the Reggae Boys. Last time we played them in the, the Gold Cup, we beat them and we beat them comfortably. Um, Mexico a little bit trickier in between that as well. We will have a friendly up against Uruguay next week. But the game against Suriname, this is the one that, that I'm, looking, um, I'm looking at. And I think the Reggae Boys, based on history, we played Suriname seven times. Um, beat them five times. We've lost twice. Both occasions where the Reggae Boys lost, this was, this was before the year 2000. So this was quite some time back. Um, we, we don't even consider that anymore. Suriname, I think they have some good young talent. They're, they're always putting, putting through youngsters. A lot of the players who play for Suriname as well, they tend to play uh, in Europe. They tend to play in, in Netherlands, that sort of thing. And that's good. That's good. They have players with European experience and we, we continue to see them push those players through give those players the opportunity to, to grow and, and to build and to come back better to contribute to the nation's football. Now, as for the Reggae Boys, I'll go through the squad that was named. Um, some big names are a part of the squad, I won't lie. But again, I'm still not convinced by Paul Hall and his credentials and what he brings to the Reggae Boys team. So give me a minute while I pull up the squad here. We'll go through. So we have Captain Andre Blake. We have Amal Knight. We have Akeem Chambers out of Waterhouse, Damian Lowe, Jamai Topi, Richard King, Kenroy Campbell out of Cavalier, um, Earl Simpson, Javain Brown, Amari Bell. We have Devon Williams, Ravel Morrison, Kevin Lambert, Tariq McGee, um, Rolando Aarons, Leon Bailey, Junior Fleming, Kahim Paris, Okese Chung, 
um, Daniel Green, Shamar Nicholson, Atafaroy Bygrave, Jamal, Jamal Lowe. All right, so um, seems like quite an experienced squad from Paul Hall and from the, the, the list of youngsters that he, he named for the game against Catalonia, only a few of those youngsters are actually a part of this setup. And you can go through and pick through the youngsters that actually were given the opportunity in, in, in the Catalonia game who are still a part of this, this setup. Um, what I expect from the Reggae Boys coming into this game, I, I expect it to be a victory, um, but this solely based on uh, on talent and, uh, and individualism from the reggae boys point of view shamar nicholson he's on the back of, of a league title over there in russia he's coming in hot um leon bailey had a had a stop start season with aston villa at the end of the day i would say his his first season with aston villa was a disappointment no fault of his really but nonetheless a disappointment um still a number of other players who had tremendous seasons are a part of this setup and I think they'll take over that momentum into the Reggae Boys setup and that's how they will get past Suriname simply because of what they're able to do um, on, on their day. I think Suriname, it's a good setup. They have a good system in place to put through players and to bring through players who oftentimes end up in Europe and that's usually because of their ties um, with, with the Netherlands and I think Suriname will give a fight. I, I, I think they are capable of, of giving a fight they're capable of doing big things on their day but i think the reggae boys they just will have too much for suriname come saturday so i think it's the first three points in the bag from the reggae boys i'm predicting a 2-1 win for the jamaican team i think we we need to use this as our opportunity to get silverware after all it's it's the closest we we will get to any silverware anytime soon the gold cup is still some time off um, the World Cup is another four years. Why not make the best of what's in front of you now? And what's in front of you now is the Nations League. I want to hear what you guys have to say. What are your predictions? What do we expect from the Reggae Boys coming into this game against Suriname? We know Suriname isn't the greatest football team in, in the region. Um, but they do have some, some fantastic players. They do have a vision uh, as to what they want out of their football. And I, I must commend the Suriname Football Federation for what they've done throughout the years. Um, keeping close watch on them. I did a preview on them for the Gold Cup, and a lot of folks were weren't happy that they were dissatisfied with with, with how I assessed the Suriname team. And I I must say it, it was it was really eye opening. It was really eye opening having seen what what the Suriname Football Federation has done and and what the players have been doing for the past few years. So the development uh, uh, of the Suriname football team it's 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 been through leaps and bones and it continues to get better um each time i see them so suriname i think they will give a good fight the reggae boys i expect them to win two goals to one again i repeat i want to hear what you the viewers have to say um share your views share your your comments in the comment section below and again folks if you haven't done so as yet remember smash the like button subscribe to halftime tv and turn the notification on ensure you never miss a beat when it comes down to halftime tv as soon as an episode is uploaded ensure you get that notification and you are aware all right so until next time Naranda brown here saying remember like share subscribe the reggae boys versus suriname um the reggae boys versus uruguay the your reggae boys versus mexico we'll have previews to all those games in the next few days as well as some track and field content um again Naranda brown here saying have a fantastic weekend peace out bye bye